Good morning. I am Royal. I am in my backyard in Hearst, Texas. I got my coffee and I'm here to do my first, my morning devotional for uh, Thursday, July the 13th. Thursday, July the 13th. Question for you. Do you ever just feel so disconnected from God you don't even know what to pray? Doesn't feel like he's there. You kind of been away from him for a while. You know, I've been talking this week about busyness. You've been so busy, you just haven't focused on him. You haven't been to church. You hadn't read your Bible. You hadn't prayed. And it, maybe if you did, you just kind of skimmed over it and went on just so you can feel like you did it. Man, we have all been there. We have all been there. And uh, one of the things I noticed when I was a counselor was that I was always dealing with people who were Christians but had the biggest problem going on in their life was because of the big problems that were going on in their life, they had pulled away from God. They had pulled away from God. They just had they had too much worry. They had too much stuff. They, maybe they just didn't care. Uh, maybe they were trying to achieve this or achieve that, and they just had disconnected from God so much they just didn't even feel like He was there. The sad thing is you can be so busy, you can be moving along and and not even noticing that you're not noticing that he doesn't feel like he's there. Does that make any sense at all? It's early. But, but then when the, compassion, the passion for what you're doing or the strong fears for what you're doing or whatever it is that's keeping you disconnected from God, when, when, the, it, when you settle down and you try to pray or think about God, it just doesn't feel like He's there. Everybody goes through that. Everybody. Even people that have been Christians for a long time. And uh, sometimes, sometimes, the best thing for you to do is to just pray a scripture. Just pray it. Uh, you don't know what to say. You just pray it. And you do that best by read the Psalms. If you're uh, someone who's feeling disconnected from God right now, I would do one of two things. I would read the Gospel of John or I would read the Psalms. And I would read them out loud. I would pray them out loud. Uh, Psalm 42 I'm looking at today, verses 4 and 5. The psalmist is obviously disconnected from God. He remembers how good it felt to be close to God. He remembers how good it felt to worship God. But right now, he is just not anywhere close to there. So here's what he says. Psalm 42, Psalm 42, 4 and 5. My heart, he's talking to God, my heart is breaking. And I remember how it used to be. I remember having God close to me. I remember the joy of going to church. I remember seeing God work in my life. I walked among the crowds of worshipers, leading a great procession to the house of God. Man, I, I invited people to church. I brought people to church at work. I showed people that God made a big difference in my life singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of great celebration of worship. So verse 5, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I know. I will praise him again. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. Praise him. You just start praising him. And the best way to praise him is to just Thank Him for what you have. Thank Him for the blessings in your life. Thank Him for the pain in your life. Just an attitude of gratitude. Isn't that amazing? That's my prayer today. I'm just praying Psalm 42, 4 and 5. My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walked among the crowds of worshipers, leading a great procession to the house of God singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my God, 
I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hey, I hope that encourages you today. Read the Psalms, pray the Psalms, and look, don't miss out on this. Say them out loud. Say them out loud. Look at that, how God comes into the picture. The sunlight. <laughs> hey, I'll see you tomorrow. Good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. I hope this encouraged you. I'd love to read your comments and reply. Please pass it on to others. Until then, uh, love God, love people, change the world, and God starts with you. Thanks. God bless.